Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you watched last week's video where I went out and shot those purple flowers, this week I'm going to show you how I post process just one of those images. Okay, so here's the image I chose. It's not the best one, it's just one I wanna do real quickly here. The first thing I do is I go in, let me get rid of the crop tool. I go in and I use a preset that I called 850. Come up here to my basic panel and I look at my color tab. And a lot of times I'll just go to auto and see what it does. Now, this image has a lot of green into it so it went pretty high in the magenta and usually about half of what it shows. Okay, then the next thing I do is I look at my highlights and my shadows. Now the sky is kinda, kinda boring here. We'll try to fix that by bringing our highlights slider in. Guy, the highlights did bring in a little bit of clouds. So I'm gonna go down to transform and use the guide. So I'm gonna pull down a guide here I don't want to go, I want to leave some of the white angle look to it, but not all of it, something like that. And then I'm going to hit Constrain Crop, and I'm going to pull it in just a little bit. I like that steering wheel up there, so I'm going to show part of the steering wheel like that. Now overall, the exposure is a little too dark. I'm going to brighten it up. And now uh, I think it's a little oversaturated. I'm going to pull my vibrance down sure that I've got good contrast so what I'm doing on my Mac I'm holding down my option key sliding the right the white slider to the right and you can see it's starting to show clipping at the top I'm gonna pull those back down and I'm gonna do the same thing except I, on the black except I'm pulling to the left and I like to block out some of the black now I'm going to do some local adjustments. I'm not gonna worry about the sky. It's not very much of my composition. I wish those flowers were a little lighter. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use range mask, and I'm gonna choose color range. And I'm gonna to touch the purple flowers. And then I'm going to go in, and just to make sure all I got was flowers. See, I got the top of the tire a little bit. I'm gonna lighten that up, and actually, not having that much of an effect on the tire. And then I'm gonna add some saturation to it. Good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a uh, radial, and this is my subject area, this area right here. So I'm gonna draw a radial filter right in there. And I'm gonna tilt it a little bit. And then I'm gonna invert this. I right clicked on the filter, invert mask there. And now what I'm gonna do is darken the area around it. I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself more control of the vignette. And now overall it's a little dark, so I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. And I'm done. Let me do a before and after. Here's after, there's before. After, before. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave me some feedback of how or what you would have done different. Thanks for watching.